be. Uh, but, for example, like the Romans, uh, they, they would conquer, they would set up their puppet government in the area they conquered, but they did take slaves from those areas who, and brought them back as unwilling servants. Uh, slavery was a, was a common thing for a conquering people to do to a conquered people. Everybody did it. Mm -mm. It certainly did not make it right. But the Bible was not concerned with undoing this, this institution of slavery as an institution. It, it does not come flat, flat out and say slavery is sinful, stop doing it. And in fact, as we'll see, Paul does tell slaves, in fact, in the New Testament, obey your masters. So does the Bible allow for slavery? Yes. It does. Is the kind of slavery that the Bible allows, though, the same kind of slavery that America knows when it says the word slavery? And that's where I'd say, no, it's not the same thing. Because American slavery was viciously brutal. You did not treat human beings as human beings. 